Cypress Street heading towards 22nd from the middle of the 2100 block. Here is a car that's always parked in this vicinity. Usually it's over on Delancey. Delancey Street runs parallel over there. Um, and this is a Polestar. You don't see too many of these around, at least not in Center City, Philadelphia. So it's an electric car, but there it is, Polestar. Um, and that's what it looks like, and it has a unique... Um, so I think I looked it up and it's a very rare breed indeed. I'm, I can't... I think I looked it up once and I was like, oh. Oh, that's okay. I was curious what kind it was. Uh, right. And you just, there's like not a major dealer, but a small dealer? For, yes. Okay. I've looked it up before and I was like, where do you find these things? Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, a uh, Wheaton Terrier. Although I think Bouvier, Wheaton Terrier, I get those two mixed up sometimes. Um, and I've looked them up and sometimes Google presents the name Bouvier for two different types of dogs. Like they look so vastly different that it's like, well, which one is it? Who's right, you know? So it's either a Wheaton Terrier or a Bouvier. So I'm not in the field of necessarily dog breeding and veterinary medicine or um, training, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> Maybe that guy's a dealer for uh, Polestar cars. Uh, but anyway, it's usually parked on Delancey. Uh, I see it often, and I'm amazed that it exists and like you don't see that many of them. I wondered if he had it shipped over from Europe or something. You know how a lot of people get those imported cars and they actually have them literally shipped over because they don't even really have a dealer in the States. But it sounds like they might have a small dealer somewhere. I'm walking north on 22nd Street. Um, oh, me. We got, hey, we have uh, scooter hooks and also a wash, wash, rinse, cycle, cycle washer. Um, you can get your laundry done and use wash, rinse, cycle, or let's see if they're, here they come. This is, oh, blockdelivery.com. So a plug, you know, block delivery. I have to look that one up. Um, in the past, you would see all these people that are uh, riding bikes with people's laundry attached to these like bike trailers, if you will. One was wash it. <laughs> and sometimes it looked like wash, S-H-I-T, like you could read it that way, but it was just wash it. And then the other one was like wash, rinse, cycle or whatever. These were like startups um, that were part of a major movement of like trying to have alternatives. You know, for people especially like you know all the renters who don't have their own laundry unit or they don't want to go to the laundry unit in their building i'm semi-lucky i don't have one in my apartment but there's uh, laundry on every single floor so it could be worse um i've been semi-lucky most of the time living here um where i haven't had to go to like to a major room where a whole bunch of you know washers and dryers were um, some buildings have like a major big laundry room in the basement and everybody has to go down there to do the laundry and it's coin operated I don't have you know only twice or three times I've been to like a formal laundromat uh, because in an, I lived in an apartment that didn't have any laundry at all and so anyway I don't feel so good here Jack and Jill distributor and two three four of their generator around the city there's like hot spots and I'll feel like nauseous it's like a signal from the electric company like do not go near those people <laughs> so some pink and white vans and trucks over there I don't know what it is it's kind of weird to be in a weird situation also I have a little bit of eye poking on my left of my eyebrow so I try to undo people who might have attached themselves to my brain matrix 
That's how it's worded sometimes. There were people who try to drive people crazy. Some very low uh, people who need to glom onto people's brain matrix, if you will, for lack of a better word. And they want to take people down. The thing is, their people don't go up if other people go down. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> I know it seems like, you know, jobs are a scarcity or whatever. It doesn't totally work that way. The world's too big and there's so much going on that to attack little Sharon doesn't really give you much of a gain in life, does it? In fact, it's had the opposite effect for a lot of people that found out. Some people wound up with um, serious, you know, disease, you know, MS. And I wondered for a second, I'm like, was that, was that karma coming around? Because to... that's a pretty serious thing if you have to live with it for the rest of your life. And some, you could have different levels of MS. And if it's really bad, you know, some people are really struggling, then it's how do you get around? How do you function every day? How do you work? How do you earn a living? You know, can you get disability for MS and for how long? Are we ready? Um, so anyway, oh, this looks like, that looks like some yogurt that I would buy. It's organic Trader Joe's, low fat, plain. They also have vanilla, but I just bought some. There's some in my refrigerator right now, that exact tub. Um, do you think it's there on purpose? A coincidence? There's no other tubs. There's like 50 million brands, 50 million styles of yogurt. But the one I just bought, I actually bought two. I also bought the Greek yogurt. I, you know, it's cheap at Trader Joe's. So I was like, let me pick up two. So that way I don't have to come back out again. Oh, Range Rover. I totally want a Range Rover. Um, Evoke more so than this large one. So I don't think it's a sport. This would be like the larger. Um, so... You know, when I'm rolling in it with millions, right? <laughs> if I'm compensated for what happened, which I should be someday, um, and trust me, I've filed enough reports that somebody has to make notice of me at some point, um, then I'll get a Range Rover Evoque. Um, or, and or, a Volkswagen buggy, or some sort of Volkswagen. For some reason, I'm totally all over the buggies right now, the Beetles or whatever. It's probably because I had to rent a car to drive to my mom's from my dad's. And um, um, <laughs> I, uh, they gave me a brand new Black Beetle Volkswagen. I couldn't believe how cute it was and how good I felt. You know, I was actually suffering at the time and I was like, this is a good way to make it look like you see me with <laughs> some money <laughs> or that, you know, this is what I should be driving this. I shouldn't be in the position I'm in. It's technically it's not my fault at all. Uh, experiencing, I experienced something so bizarre that um, I was forced into a corner per se. And it's like, I don't know what to do now. And I don't want to be a burden to other people. And I don't want people to think I'm in like trouble or anything. Oh, Z Dog. What? They moved up here? Don't knock, it will upset. Oh, I didn't know that. Z Dog is here now. I thought they had a, a larger space down in the um, Gray's Ferry area. I'll have to look them up again. 